Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome to Kids Zone. Yeah. We are excited to have you with us for another session with myself, Pastor Given, and my good friend Jamie. Jamie, are you good? Yes, I am good. Uh, Everyone, awesome. thank you once again for tuning in. We are super excited today, and Pastor Given has something very interesting to tell you today. That's right, that's right. I want to ask you a question quickly. Have you ever been in a place where you want to pray, but you don't know what to pray for? Definitely, I've been there. And here's the thing, the Bible encourages us when you read in Philippians chapter 4, it says, Do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything by prayer. So it's saying that we shouldn't worry about anything at all. Mm. We just need to pray about it. The trick is we don't always know what to pray from. And today I want to teach you a trick that will help you in your time of prayer. Are you ready? Yeah. Jamie, are you ready? I am ready. Awesome. So it is called the finger, the five finger prayer. Ah. So if you can do your hands like this, that's right. And you know how we always pray like this. No particular reason, but I'm going to teach you a trick that this can remind you of what to pray for. So Jamie, won't we quickly name the different fingers? What's this finger? What's this finger? This is the thumb. Yeah! This is the thumb. And what is this finger? This is the index finger. This is the index finger. And what is this finger? This is your middle finger. Ah, fantastic. And what is this finger? This is your ring finger. That is the ring finger. And what is this finger? And this is your little pinky. And that is your little pinky. So using our five fingers, we're going to learn to remember what to pray for when we pray. So I quickly want to show you something cool. And it's going to be really, really, really amazing. So when you do this, can you see that your thumb is the closest to you? Mm -hmm. So when you start praying, you're going to first start praying for people closest to you. Jamie, can you tell me, what, who is the one person that is extremely close to you? That would be my mother. Aww. Your mom, that is good. So you pray for the people closest to you, that's your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your cousins, everybody close to you, and you can include your friends in that prayer, mm -hmm. all right? So this will remind you to pray for everybody closest to you. Now, Jamie, tell me, what does this finger do? Points. It points. That's right. So next, you're going to pray for everybody that points you into the right direction. You're going to pray for your teachers at school because they're teaching us to walk in a way that will lead us to a good future. We're praying for our pastors. We pray for everybody that points us in the right direction. Now, thirdly, Jamie, the middle finger. Do you think it's the shortest or the tallest finger? It is the tallest finger. It is the tallest finger. And we're going to use this finger to remind us to pray for all our leaders. Mm -hmm. And in this example, I want you to pray for our government. What is the government? Those are our leaders who lead our country. For example, the president. Yes. Boys and girls, we need to pray for our president so that God can give them wisdom and they can lead us in a way that God has planned it to be. Now next, number four, we're going to pray. Can you see that your, your, your ring finger is usually kind of weaker than the other fingers, right? And you're going to pray for all the sick people, all the orphans, all the people who are homeless, you're going to pray for them and you're going to remember them in your prayer and say, Lord, help all these people, heal them, provide for them, and you're going to pray for all those people. And then lastly, we've got the pinky. pinky. And the pinky, when your hands are in this posture, they are, or it is your last finger. And it is the furthest away from you. So you're going to pray lastly for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because we need to come to the Lord as well and say, Lord, please help me with this. Please help me with that. I pray for this to go well. I pray for that to go well. And when you do this, it will surely remind you what to pray for when you don't know what to pray for. Boys and girls, I want to remind you something quickly. Prayer is important. We cannot live without prayer. 
The Bible says in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, it says that never stop praying. So even when you don't know what to pray for, remember the hands. But what is important is that you must pray every day. Make a habit of it. Pray when you wake up. Pray when you go to bed. But not only that, pray throughout the whole day because Jesus is listening to our prayers. So, Jamie, I hope that helps you to pray a little bit more. Yes. A little bit more better. Yes. Then you know what to pray for. You won't be confused. Definitely. Uh, awesome. <laughs> and I hope it helps you guys. We love you guys so much. We hope that you learned something. Now go and live the empowered life.